Hey, 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 Crips here, and welcome. So there you go. So as you know, version 7 is out, and you may also know that I did uh, the tutorials in this, the uh, Discovery Center for them, and that was kind of nice. Uh, one of the videos I did, they asked was, could you show them how well Video Studio and Paint Shop Pro work together? And I said, yeah, sure, not a problem. And I want to replicate that video uh, on my channel here, just in case you never go over to the uh, the the, 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 the Discovery Channel. It's a real tank with D da Jesus. All right, so I'm going to redo the video here, and hopefully you may learn something, even if you just got Paint Shop Pro, and that's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do is just uh, I'm going to use a little simple clip. I dropped my daughter off school, and on my way home, or just as I left the school, I noticed this uh, brand new Lamborghini uh, just driving, you know, minding its own business. And I I'm going to demonstrate to you what it. Just focus on this picture right here in front of me right now and I'm going to enhance it and then use it as a part of my video and then maybe share it with a friend so let's do that this is quite fine so I'm going to use the endpoint first okay so as you can see I've trimmed my clip to here I'm going to drag it to the timeline you don't need to drag it to the timeline I could have left it there so I'm going to create a snapshot of this picture I'm going to enlarge it so you can really see it I'm going to take a snapshot now you can do that within video studio here take a snapshot but i want to enhance this photo i really want to bring in some colors and you know right now on my screen it looks a bit bleached out video studio is a video editor paint shop pro is a professional photo editor so i'm going to use the photo editor so there we go now in here i can go to file it's got an import and here we go screen capture i can screen capture anything i want uh, if I go to setups, you can set it up. I've got area and my right mouse click. In other words, when I want to capture anything on my screen, I just simply hit the right mouse and then I'm good to go. And I'm, I've already set everything up. You can set it up if you want and press OK. Now, you don't need to go in to set up every time you want to use the screen capture. The shortcut for this is Shift C. So if I was just to go to Corel Paint Shop Pro, all I have to do is hit Shift so something just popped up in the corner of my windscreen. Uh, windscreen monitor. Shift C. It closes down Paint Shop Pro and launches whatever software or wherever you were at your last point. And obviously, I was at Corel Video Studio. So right click and brings up the cross here. And then I just I can now make the area anywhere I want, but I want to basically make it the same size as my video clip. And all I got to do is then release and then left click. And then look at this. It launches it back into Corel Paint Shop Pro. And that's kind of neat. I thought that was really cool. I didn't actually know about this. I was just thinking, how am I going to show the two? And then I came across this feature. And I was really impressed with it. Hence, I'm showing you it here. And shut up, grips, and keep going. All right. So all I want to do now is just simply enhance this photo. So I'm going to go to effects. Maybe I might use perfectly clear to you know really enhance my photo. So look, the noise is you know I've taken down the noise. I can do it better here. Noise, yes. Uh, if I just click on the picture like so, I can see before after what my photo is doing. So as you can see, I got really good contrast and my levels are out. This is the before after, much nicer. And press OK. It'll render through the photo, do all the settings, and voila, I'm done. So I'm just going to do file. And I'm going to export it now. Export JPEG Optimizer. Press OK. And I'm going to just save it as default image 4. Go back into Video Studio. Minimize this window. Bring that photo right in. So what was it? Image 4, right? Yeah. Image 4. OK. And there you go. So here's my picture now. And as you can see, it's really nice and clean and sharp. Well, on my monitor it is anyway. So there you go. So here comes the car. And then bam, look at that, nice and sharp. So what I want to do now is just continue the video on, right? So if I go back into my clip, I'll see where it ended. So it was 319. All right, let's do that, 319. Let's just bring that right up and then trim it down to what? 319, right, folks? There you go. And then just bring that clip in. So that should all work nice. Let's have a quick preview of that. Nice. 
and then continue. So I was able to freeze that moment and then let it continue. So I can now do more than that. I can add some fancy effects to it. So let's just do that. I'm gonna use my zoom motion filter. I, I kind of like this filter. Drop it on my photo. So now as I, I'm just added a bit of feature or a bit of effect to it just to, whoa. So there you go, and then just continue. See how it just all flows in, there's no stop start with the, the car you know, skipping back and forth because I'm able to use the trim commands quite easily. And let's just do one more thing. Let's add a bit of audio or a bit of a sound effect, like maybe ta -da, or something silly like that. I've already set it up here, so I'm not gonna bore you with setting it all up. Add to timeline, all right. All I need to do now is just uh, trim it just to that clip that I, the photo clip, so let's do that. And then press, press play and see what we got. So there you go, I just did something, you know, pretty cheesy. <laughs> Whatever, added a bit of music and zoom motion to it. But the point was to demonstrate to you by using the two, how much more you can do with your uh, video. So using the PaintShop Pro to create a better quality picture, bring it back into Video Studio and then edit it the way you want it, giving you the best final results. And there you go, my friends. And as always, thanks for watching.